I may wear sweats in like 80% of my videos, but I actually really like royal court. Royal court encompasses a group of aesthetics based on West European royalty ranging from Arthurian times to the Belle Epoque period, so definitely a far cry from my everyday wardrobe, but it's still a really cool aesthetic nonetheless. So today I'm going to be talking about royal core essentials and what to look for and where to shop. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely check out my other videos on aesthetics. I do a lot of deep dives on different fashion aesthetics, so if you like exploring different styles or if you're trying to figure out your own personal style, definitely check out this playlist and consider subscribing and checking out my Discord server as well where we can talk about fashion and aesthetics. So like I mentioned earlier, royal core can actually be broken down into a few different aesthetics including knight core, princess core, queen core, prince core, and king core. So these aesthetics are pretty self-explanatory. Knight core is based on knights and you'd see a lot of silver and like armor inspired pieces, chain mail, and it's just a very strong and kind of dark aesthetic. For princess core, it'd definitely be a lot more dainty and feminine. So you'd see a lot of feminine and flowy silhouettes and dresses and gowns and it would be a little bit lighter in color palette than queen core. I think queen core is very similar to princess core but obviously more elevated, more elegant, and more regal. And I think kind of the same thing would go for prince core versus king core. I think prince core would still look very royal and proper and elegant but more youthful versus king core which would feel a lot more elevated and regal. And the history of this aesthetic goes way back because like I mentioned, it is based on West European royalty. So there is an extensive history that I won't get into too much. But for example, there were sets of laws called sumptuary laws that were placed to differentiate the types of fabrics, colors, and types of clothes for social classes. Royal wear consisted of many layers made from high quality fabrics like silk, velvet, taffeta, wool, and fur. Colors were also reserved for royalty as vibrant colors like purple and gold could only be affordable to those of high status. So this already kind of gives us an idea of what we're going to look for when it comes to royal core. We want to look for like luxurious materials and certain color palettes. So for night core, I'd look for a color palette of silver, brown, blue, and red. For prince core, we'd look for gold, red, white, and blue. For princess core, pink, purple, white, gold, and blue. King core, gold, royal blue, and red, and for queen core, purple, gold, silver, and red. For specific materials to keep an eye out for, I would look for velvet, silk, satin, linen, cotton, wool, cashmere, angora, tweed, boucle, leather, fur, feather trim or accents, lace, cord trim, embroidery accents and details, beading details, brocade print, paisley print, and for princess core, I'd also look for like dainty floral patterns. So I would go for more natural materials than synthetic materials if you can. And we're just looking for like very like luxurious feeling and detailed fabrics. Next, I'm going to talk about some items to look for to build a royal core wardrobe. But like I mentioned, royal core is kind of broken up into a bunch of different aesthetics. So I'm just trying to like figure out the basics that will go for most of these aesthetics. But it would definitely help a lot to accessorize and to look for inspiration from Pinterest, for example, for specific items to get a certain vibe if you're going more for knight core versus princess core or prince core, for example. So for tops, you can go for frilly blouses or silk blouses or is it blice? Blouses, bow tie blouses, blazers or long coats, bow fur shawls, Chanel sets, waistcoats, especially for Prince Core and King Core, corsets, especially for Princess Core and Queen Core, and maybe even a cape. For Princess Core or Queen Core, obviously dresses would work really well for this aesthetic, so I would look for very romantic, tulle, flowy dresses, classical black dresses, especially for Queen Core, something more elegant and elevated and evening gowns or suits and tuxes for prince core or knight core for formal events. For bottoms, I would look for tweed skirts at knee or maxi length or wool skirts or tweed or wool pants. You can layer skirts to get that fuller skirt look that they had back in the day. You can look for pleated or tailored trousers and ruffled skirts for princess core especially. For shoes, I'd look for heels for princess or queen core or if it's winter, maybe some lace up boots or riding boots oxfords or loafers or even some sleek sneakers for a more casual everyday royal core look. For accessories, I'd go for some extravagant jewelry, for example diamonds or pearls, ascot ties, crowns, tiaras, scepters, cameo jewelry, medallion pendants or brooches for king core especially, a pocket watch, cufflinks, fascinators, gloves, 
ribbons in your hair for princess core, and chainmail or silver chain jewelry or accessories for knight core, silk scarves tied around the neck, lace trim, especially for princess core or queen core, and leather accessories, especially for knight core as well. Now that's all I have for essentials, but if you guys have any other ideas, definitely let me know in the comments. And I feel like you can really get the vibe of a specific aesthetic like knight core, princess core, queen core, etc. by accessorizing. So I would really try to focus on accessories here. For example, knight core, you can take a really basic outfit but add some like silver chain jewelry or chain mail and some like black leather and get more of a knight core look there. Also side note, this form of royal core is definitely very western focused so I think it'd be really cool to see royal core based on other cultures royalty so if you guys want to get started on that I would love to see it. Next I'm going to talk about where to shop for royal core which to be fair can be pretty hard because like where do you buy royal dresses but I'm going to try my best so if you guys have any other ideas for where to shop as well please let me know in the comments or let me know in my discord server again doing a little plug here. I do have a channel on where to shop for different aesthetics to show new aesthetics you found to show your outfit of the day so i think it's a really fun discord server and i'd love for you to join but back to royal core i also mostly know about where to shop for princess core and queen core because i dress very feminine so if you have ideas for knight core prince core and queen king core i'd really appreciate that as well so first of all for flowy dresses i feel like that's very popular right now and like cottage core style dresses can also fit in really well so you can look at stores like asos guest style or jing they are pretty trendy stores and they have a lot of feminine dresses ultra pdx is a brand i've been mentioning a lot lately as well i love them because they are sustainable and plus size inclusive and they have a lot of really pretty dresses as well and i have an affiliate link so if you want to shop from them, definitely check out the link in the description box below. Loud Bodies is another size inclusive option that also has a lot of really pretty dresses. So I would check them out. And Etsy is a really great option for accessories. They also have corsets. They have chainmail accessories. Um, you can also look for Renaissance Fair accessories. They have a lot of really cool ones there that I'm definitely going to be buying because I really want to go to the Renaissance Fair for the first time this year. But I'm getting sidetracked. They also have jewelry and crowns and tiaras and a lot of cool leather pieces as well. Um, Alexa Shan is another brand I really like for unique and more modern looking leather pieces but I feel like you could kind of bring a little nightcore vibe with these leather pieces. I have like a leather corset from them that I really like and I feel like when I wear it it kind of gives me nightcore vibes sometimes so I think that'll fit really well. Of Her Own Kind is also a really really pretty dress brand. I love their dresses so much and I think it would really fit this aesthetic it is very pricey though, but it's my dream to own one of those dresses. It's so pretty. For full-on gowns, I am not quite sure where to find like a full-on royal core ball gown. Um, Tuta Matoshi is one brand that I really love that makes very beautiful gowns and maybe some can fit the royal core aesthetic. But other than that, I'm not too sure. So if you have a suggestion, let me know. And then like I said, I don't really know too many brands for prince core or king core, so I would focus on looking for those specific pieces that I mentioned earlier. So you can search for the items that I talked about today and look for luxurious materials and look for the Prince Core or King Core color palette and accessorize with gold jewelry and accessories. And of course, I always have to mention thrifting or shopping secondhand, which to be fair, may be harder for this aesthetic, but I feel like you can find some basics like long skirts or nice blouses in a thrift store, so I still think it's a really good option. But other than that, I feel like that's the basics for how to start a kind of royal core wardrobe. It's definitely not the easiest to wear every day because royal core is so extravagant and elegant, but I feel like you can take elements of this aesthetic and just incorporate it into your wardrobe and maybe slowly build up a more extravagant wardrobe by using these basics. So let me know what you think and let me know how you're, you would incorporate royal core into an everyday wardrobe and if you have any suggestions for other basics for this aesthetic or for places to shop for this aesthetic and join my discord server, follow me on Instagram and TikTok and I'll see you guys next week.